Mike here with OT Defense. Just want to go over as quickly as possible the options for the Safari Land holsters and the different nub mods that we make for them. So starting off with the ALS nub mod. Um, this is for level one only and works on the 7000 series or 7TS holsters, their new injection molded material, as well as the 6000 series, which were the original with the leather on the inside. Um, for the 6000 series, the lever is going to look like this. It's going to be a rectangle as viewed from the top and flat on this side. So we include a piece of foam and you can place that in this recessed area and that'll prevent about 20% of the holsters that I tested, they would wobble a little bit. So we threw the foam in there, super dense and hard to prevent that issue. On the 7000 series, like this, if it was made after 2020, it's going to have three planes to the outside of the lever. In that case, you don't need to use the foam, you just screw it on as is. Level three users, you will need the SLS nub mod and it is shaped in such a manner that it provides clearance of the hood as you press down and disengage the hood. We include a stainless steel black washer to put behind the top T-nut if needed, if you're running a little tight there. Uh, 6000 series users with the original lever and older 7TS holsters, you'll be able to bolt it right on. If you have a newer, so 2020 and beyond manufactured, holster, you're likely going to have this three-planed lever shape. You will have to file the lever flat in order to fit the nub mod. We couldn't make it compatible with both without making the nub mod wider and then running the risk of significant interference with the hood, which would be counterproductive to the whole goal of making you have a smoother, faster draw. RDS holsters obviously becoming super popular. 6000 series with the leather on the inside. You can use for level one standard ALS nub mod for level three, the SLS nub mod. That's what we've got on here. A couple things to note on these. Um, the mold is obviously different on the inside. Uh, you can see that the lever shape is drastically different. So some users will find that they will be a little tight on the install and just take a fingernail file and take a hair off the bottom where the nub mod index is on to the holster itself. And then the nub mod will clamp on there straight. Another potential issue that we've seen on probably 10% of the holsters is rubbing on the Kydex. So these are handmade in Mexico, so they vary a little bit. And if you put the nub mod on and it sticks back here, obviously that's not acceptable for your weapon retention. So you need to take a Dremel tool or file and just grind down some of this material here along the axis of that yellow line there so that you've got solid weapon retention. 7000 series with the injection molded everything. Uh, we offer level one, wider, significant improvement to the height and prevents you from having the issues with the locking as you draw up, uh, which is pretty common on these holsters. And then here we have the level three 7TS RDS nub mod. So gives you enough clearance for the hood. And again, we include a washer for behind that if you need it. 1911 users, we've got the aluminum 1911 nub mod here that clears the safety shroud that's molded into the Kydex on these 6000 series holsters. Um, if you remove the safety shroud, which a lot of guys do, you know, just cut it off. And as long as you don't have a larger safety and you have at least one eighth of an inch between the factory lever here and the safety on your weapon throughout the draw, then you could actually use the standard ALS nub mod. But if you leave this on or you have a larger safety, you need to use the 1911 nub mod as this only adds a 16th of an inch. If you have one of the 7TS holsters, then you need one of our glue on nub mods. We've been using this glue for about three years now and nobody has had any issues with it. Works great. If you want to get this off, you're going to use pliers and take it off in pieces. Um, so the lever shape has a triangle to it in a hollowed portion in the back. If you have a 1911 with level three, we have another glue on part. Um, not as much room to work with obviously because we had to go around this and the hood as well, but it still does provide an improved angle for your thumb to engage the release. Staccato users that are using the staccato specific holsters and have not modified a M&P holster, etc., to 
fit with their staccato, you will need the staccato nub mod. Snaps onto the outside, glues in place, and you can see that very different lever shape from all the other holsters. Um, that was level one. Here's the level three. Didn't give us much room to work with, but still made it a little wider and then improved the angle so you have a more material to hit with your thumb. Single stack subcompacts like the P365, um, Ruger, LCP, Glock 43, etc. This is the baby gun nub mod. Kind of chamfer it a little bit on the outside and not rub against your side. Military holsters. This is specific to the MHH military issued kits. They made it significantly wider. The lever is not only wider, it is longer as well. Um, so we had to modify significantly to accommodate that. It is designed for use without the hood. It will rub on the hood. There is nothing we could do about it. Um, so it's got some interference there. So we don't recommend use with the hood. But if your unit will allow you to run with the hood down or take the hood off completely, then this is a great improvement to the factory release. So to make things farther confusing still, these three are all SIG holsters, and you'll notice they have three different lever shapes. So this is the military lever shape, so it would require the military nub mod, which only comes in tan. Um, and this is for a SIG with the X300 TLR1, a big light, so this monstrous beast looking holster. That would require a military nub mod in order to work. This one for the SIG P320 with the TLR7, you can see again, based on the lever shape, this would be fine with just the ALS nub mod, or in this case, the SLS nub mod because it's a level 3 holster. This one, which is the uh, TLR7 with optic, it requires the RDS 70S nub mods. So on these particular holsters, they ran it just a hair snug, or at least with the sample I've got. So I would recommend gluing it in place and then holding it so it doesn't kind of pop off there. Just hold it in place for a few minutes, let the glue set up. I mean, if you had vice grips, clamp it down, let it sit overnight, and then you'd be good to go in the morning. So that is all the different holster options that they currently have out. Obviously, they could change things at any moment, but if you got any questions, uh, feel free to give us a shout or shoot us an email, info at OT Defense. Send us a picture of your holster even and say, hey, I'm not, not clear on what I should get. And we will give you the recommendation of what you need to get your fixed up and smoothen up your draw.